guys, here we are back with another Goodwill Blu-ray DVD and CD shopping video. So let's see what all we could find. And right off the bat, I was seeing here the Star Wars Classic Collection. Uh, starting with A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. And then we got even Attack of the Clones and Return of the uh, Revenge of the Sith. Also some uh, bonus material here. So let's see if any of these uh, list up a price here. Um, I'm not too sure, but I did see that up at the front desk, it did list green as the color for 50% off. So remember, last time Y was for yellow, so we're gonna have to look for G. Now I already see some cool stuff here, me being a Woody Allen fan. Uh, you know, we got a sleeper here. So definitely this is a good find. Um, you know, being a Woody Allen fan, I don't have this one, Woody Allen and Diane Keene. I think I have seen it, but, um, don't own it. So, definitely a good find here. And it looked like right near it was like a Criterion, oh, I thought that was the Criterion logo. But it was like a Discovery Classics collection, the Essential Dinosaur Pack going on here. Pretty cool cover, oh, it's a slip cover, okay. And more than eight hours of great entertainment. So for all you dinosaur fans out there, uh, you're definitely going to want to uh, get a hold of that. Let's move over to the Blu-rays. I did see some Blu-rays over here. And uh, isn't this with um, Ellen or Elliot? Yeah, before he was Elliot, she was Ellen. And in the Whip It here. And I think this was like a Drew Barrymore. Yep, and it is. So, um, don't know, don't know the prices here. They're probably keeping it you know to themselves so they could uh shock you up there but we're gonna we're gonna still try to find one uh with a price here and i did see a slip cover we got a few um with slip covers here a disney title uh frozen hopefully it comes with a digital code inside and then you know um the campaign oh it says a uh, 4.99 24.99 don't know but uh hmm we'll, we'll, we'll see let's just keep looking here so of course a, a Disney, this is definitely a good find, even though this is just out, out of my um, element here, a little too um, new for, for my style. I did see this, didn't see the sequel, but um, yeah, you know, a one and done type of DL so I'll just put that back there. Uh, one of my favorites here is uh, A League of Their Own, Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell, and even uh, Tank Girl, um, Lori Petty, right? She's in that. So this is, this one's a good one, right? Uh, yeah, there's no crying in ba baseball. Batter up, Betty Spaghetti, um, Marla Hooch. Can't forget about Marla Hooch. So um, that's definitely a classic right there. Now I did just by browsing all over here, I saw some really cool titles. Like right here was Battlefield Earth. You never see this anywhere. Uh, one of the worst movies ever made, right? Um, John Travolta. Uh, yeah, what else uh, can I say except it's one of the worst movies ever made and um, in a slip cover here um, with 37 chapters so definitely an interesting find. Um, now me, I'm the type to watch this on Max or you know some sort of streaming service but I think this is a great find here. Uh, a snap case. Did I say slip cover? I said I meant snapper. You can see the, the snapper right there in um, one of the worst movies of all time, uh, John Travolta, Battlefield Earth. This is from 1999, 1998, somewhere around there. Look at that, edited for home video. What is that all about? Um, yes, but here it is in all of its bad glory. Okay, and now a good one, maybe for the ladies and some of the brothers out there, how Stella got her groove back with um, Angela Bassett. And this one uh, was uh, Terry McMillan who uh, wrote Waiting to Exhale. So this is the follow-up. Well, not necessarily the follow-up. Her follow-up, you know. Um, Waiting to Exhale came out in 95 and I guess this one came out in 97. So, you know, for all your um, chocolate love out there is uh, how Stella got her groove back. All right, another cool title, which is, um. You know, one of my, you know, this is more my speed is uh, Care Bears 2, a new generation in a slip cover here. I might have this on VHS. Like, I don't know if I have the first one or the second one. Um, I have the one, I think it's the one with the two kids, even though they don't look like that. The one with the witch in the book. So let me see if I could try to take this out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this one. You could find uh, this one at Big Lots or Dollar Tree and now here at Goodwill. Um, but it does come 
with this uh, nice slip and I do see like the Care Bears TV show on like a streaming service I have so, so you know I always want to watch everything and never have time to watch anything um so there is a Care Bears there's movies there's TV shows there's remakes and all that good stuff you know we care care a lot and share a lot and um, that song by Carol King right isn't isn't that one isn't that in here the uh the Carol King or Carol King song from uh, Care Bears 2, A New Generation. All right, another uh, classic here, another um, one I saw is The Breakfast at Tiffany's. Now, this one is actually written by Truman Capote. Am I am I wrong here? Something, isn't that based on, yeah, I was right, based on the novel by Truman Capote. So I, did, I have seen this, and um, yeah, Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and uh, there you go, another classic there. Shifting over to the television, I did see this. Not my favorite, but uh, look at this, you guys. Seasons one and two, three, all this stuff of Family Guy. And I'm guessing green is gonna be the 50% off, even though it says GX. I don't know what else uh, GX is. But um, you know, I'm definitely more of a Simpsons guy. And then I don't know when did this premiere, 99? or uh, somewhere around there but i could tell like you know with this stacked dvd i don't know family guy is just like over the top tries too hard i just never liked it and then i don't know is this a spin-off of um, family guy american dad so um there is uh that as well and I was, I, was, I was talking about some interesting interesting titles this is um a few titles here there's kurt russell one dark blue um you know one of these uh cop movies uh may have seen this uh, may have not i don't know kind of one of those movies you just leave on in the background um from from 97 or so and i thought this was a pretty good find here uh frankenstein uh the legacy collection uh here um so definitely um, a good find here uh, i guess it, it includes also all of these frankenstein brighter frankenstein center frankenstein goes to frankenstein house of frankenstein definitely a good find for all your frankenstein fans let's see if um i don't know is it is it open inside let's see all right so this is definitely uh pretty cool right there look at that um really nice case i mean i have i have the classic monster collection that um complete 30 film collection but definitely if you don't have any of those or if you're just a big frankenstein fan this one is a good one to have for just two discs and um you know you get all those movies there some special features blah 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 so definitely want to check that out for all you frankenstein fans is this uh boris karloff the legacy collection Another interesting title that I never find out is um, Miller's Crossing. Um, too bad it's not G for green, but it's B for blue. But I don't think I've ever even seen this one. This one and Barton Fink, as far as those um, Coen Brothers movies. Um, I ha Yeah, okay. Coen Brothers movies, I haven't seen this one, but I always hear a lot about it. And look at that. I guess someone heard a lot about it, too. Which brings me to, to my next point. Always check those discs inside before you take it to the register and before you buy it. Make sure there's actually a disc with the movie inside. There's nothing in here, so can't buy anything. Can't see Miller's Crossing here. But I was looking here. This was like, I mean, I do have this at home. Don't know why this looks well, but this... This is a good one too. Can't hardly wait. You know, that's from my time uh, with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Let's check that one out. Um, but here, okay, this is, uh, you know, with uh, PJ Souls and the, the Roger Corman Rock and Roll High. So I just have the um, the Scream Factory uh, version, but here is just this um, Slingshot DVD version. Uh, the, the Ramones, the, the Ramones uh, movie. Here in Rock and Roll High School, a uh, good uh, cult movie here. And, um, you know, another one from the 90s is uh, Can't Hardly Wait. Like I said, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Would you like some sesame cake? Is uh, Congo here, you know, with Amy, the, the talking gorilla. Um, this is one I saw I saw in theaters. And then it's kind of like I've never seen it since. But I don't know. It's, it's still a good movie. It's like one of those good bad movies and you know another one of my um favorites is uh, nine months here julianne moore and hugh grant and joan uh, cusack tom arnold 
yeah, this one's like really funny. This one I would record off of HBO back in the day and then just watch it over and over again. So I have good memories of this one. And then also that movie Bye Bye Love with Paul Reiser. That's like a forgotten movie. But I saw it in my stack of like VHSs that I had recorded back in the day along with um, Nine Months. So, you know, just some fun 90s, um, you know, rom-com. And I'm seeing so much good stuff like 9 to 5. This one is a good one here. Working 9 to 5. What a way to make a living. Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, and uh, Dolly Parton there with that hit. Hit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> This is an easy pass. Easy pass. I'm not interested in this when it's full screen. But here is um, Penelope here with uh, Christina Ricci. All right. Who you could see now. I think she's still in Yellow Jackets. And you know, I, 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 I always like Christina Ricci. This is the pig movie where she has like a pig nose. So this is that movie. Here is another one that's a G for green. This is a good one to say anything with that famous, you know, scene. Um, it's almost like the Breakfast Club scene, right? And I actually like that, um, that movie, that Better Off Dead movie with uh, John Cusick. But this is a nice little slip, um, what do you call that? A slip, an insert with uh, the chapters. So this one is with, um, I don't know, is Annie Potts? Is in this, someone's in this? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Lily, Lily Taylor is is in this, and um, that's kind of what I remember. A Cameron Crow, right? Lily Taylor is in this, and like she does that cringe performance when uh, on the guitar when she's trying to win his love back. So I, I think that's the one. Anyway. Um, Okay, this is a good movie. Okay, this is a good find, but I never liked it. Sofia Coppola's follow-up, which is uh, Lost in Translation, Scarlett Johansson and Bill Murray. So it is on Max right now. I'm thinking of, like, trying to maybe watch it again. But I remember watching it and just, like, never liking it. Sofia Coppola is hit and miss, and this one's a miss for me. Okay, but now we're going to go back to where I was going, which was The Truth About Cats and Dogs. This one I used to watch all the time on HBO. Uma Thurman and Jeanine Garofalo and there's a part where she sticks her finger up a turtle's ass in this one. I kind of remember that. And as you see it comes with an insert there with um, chapter stops. So if it was G for green, who knows if I would um, any, any special features besides a trailer and anamorphic widescreen. See that used to be considered a bonus feature. You know and 5.1 surrounds him and it is G for green. Now, I don't need any DVDs, but if I'm going to buy one, it's got to be G for green. And I think Congo looks like it's G for green. Okay, so remember, we were seeing GX, so we got to find G. Now, I was, uh, we, we did see Care Bear 2, and here's another Care Bear, Fun in the Sun. Three easy play episodes for all your, uh, you know, all the kiddies out there who can't, uh, who can't take a whole movie. You might have to get them three episodes there. Okay, now speaking of uh, kids' movies, but before we get into that, we got some like, this is all a good snack right here, you know, you got Napoleon Dynamite. And this isn't good, but it's cool to find this, Hills High Rise 2 Unrated. Um, also, here is Wayne's World, widescreen, Party Time Excellent, Dreamweaver, and even a commentary by the director. Um... And that director did like um, the the end of Western civilization, something like that. Those uh, concert movies, and not one of my favorites, but a, a favorite of many, uh, The Goonies, with that the hit Cindy Lauper song, and then you know We Were in Stitch. B movie, which you never see anywhere, full screen. Put it back, and then. Um, Shark Tale. What is this? Live at the film, Mark Dave Chappelle. Now, speaking of HBO Max, I was watching like all this stuff. Robots. Does this come with a slipcover? Full screen. Why? I mean, I wouldn't buy it anyway, but I'm just saying, why? And then they, I was watching on Max, which I did see in the theater, and I remember being like, 
this movie sucks, this movie sucks. And it does, but it's one of those things where it's like, it's been 20 years now. <laughs> now it's like, okay, maybe it's not that bad. And then it, it's also like a, a Wes Craven Presents, even though Wes Craven has nothing to do with it. But I did catch some like references. The whole thing reminded me of like Nightmare on Elm Street because it's about night terrors. Anyway. What I'm trying to say is for a PG-13, it's not all the worst thing ever. I mean, it's still bad, but you might get some enjoyment out of it. And speaking of Wes Craven, here is a real Wes Craven is Red Eye with um, Academy Award winner Killian Murphy and um, Mean Girls actress Rachel McAdams. And I like this one, and it's a short one too. It's like, look at that. 85 minutes and uh, this looks like a blockbuster case though yep <laughs> you see how good i am do you see that and um and okay speaking of interesting titles i knew i i saw something interesting which was uh, the avengers from the 90s and look it's a sealed snapper so you know this is like official but i think even this was on max and i i just watched like five ten minutes and i was like oh yeah it is kind of bad and you got sean connery and ray fiends uma thurman all right so many good finds including uh superstar another favorite and um this is a, a michael douglas movie i remember this one um this like thriller i'll never tell a thriller to end all thrillers well Jeez, a suspenseful, a gripping thriller. Yeah, that's just like what I remember. I remember it's a good thriller. It's just that I haven't seen it in a while. They gotta add it to Max or something. And it comes with an insert. Probably one of those like lifetime, you know, you give me back my daughter. You know? I'll never tell. And, um, here, one of my favorites is uh, Jawbreaker with, uh, the girls, Rose McGee. Actually, the biggest star is probably um, Judy Greer, who's not even um, on the poster. There she is, Fern. So that's funny, but this is um, it's one of my favorites here. You know, if you like Carrie, if you like uh, Heather's, you'll love Jawbreaker. Okay, the party isn't over yet because I did forget to go over um, Super Troopers, which is another good title. Leader of Cola, Leader of Cola. Um, littering and, uh, littering and, uh, so, uh, there's that. Super Troopers, littering and, uh, and then I like, um, here is a fish called Wanda. And, you know, I always talk about the follow-up, well, the quasi follow-up, which is a uh, fierce creatures, um, the zoo movie. But here's the first one where they all team up is a, a fish called Wanda. I could, you know, rewatch this to try to, you know. It's just that I like Fierce Creatures more because I, I grew up with that one. So let's just get into some more cool titles like, um, what is this? Black Sunday, Robert Shaw Bruce Dern and Martha Keller, directed by uh, John Frankenheim were there. So, Black Sunday, and comes with an insert. Another uh, cool title, forgotten title, is uh, Bogus with uh, Whoopi Goldberg and Gerard Depardieu in a snapper case. So it's a magic hole. And Haley Joel Osment as Halbert. All right, so um, there's that in a snapper case. Okay, I did see some more cool titles up here like Freedom. And I mean, I don't, I don't even think I've seen this movie, but I just like this packaging and all these like, the list of uh, special features there. Look, Sama's recording sessions and a Sama conversation and a commentary. So, definitely cool. You know, Frida Kahlo with the eyebrows in this two disc edition. Even comes with an insert right there. You know, not many people talk about this movie. I, I don't think they do, but, you know, it was kind of big at the time, made some noise at the time. You know, winner of two Academy Awards, including uh, Best Original Square. They say it's one of the best pictures of the year in uh, Frida, a visual feast 
Like, kind of like an Amelie type of thing, you know what I mean? But Amelie is like a little more cult, cultish. Anyway, um, I did see here Red River, which is a, um, what's his name? John Wayne. I was going to say John Stewart. John Wayne. And then there is a, a criterion here, but it, hmm, four page booklet inside. Is that true? Is that true? Yeah, this is back in the day. This was a four page booklet because it's like one, two, three, four. You know, not. I don't know. I don't know if I like that, but there it is. Some Universal Classics here, which is a uh, an Animal House in the uh, 30th Anniversary Edition. All right, it's kind of missing some uh, special features there, so be careful there. Like the original, actually, that's kind of what you need that yearbook Animal House reading. I think that's that documentary there. So, but it is a uh, two disc, I think. That's uh, interesting there. So you could tell that's almost like a repackaging of uh, some sort. Not sure what's going on there. But here is another one, the Anniversary Collector's Edition of the Jaws. Over 75 minutes of bonus footage, all right? One of the scariest films of all time. So, hey, you know, one, one disc edition. Another, I don't know if it's like one of the worst movies all the time, but it's this one, this one is so weird. An M. Night Shyamalan movie, and the whole place takes place in an apartment complex. Oh, look at that. And I was going to say, Paul Giamatti is in this, right? With a uh, lithograph cover here lady in the water bryce dallas howard so yeah and her name is like story and though i remember that at the advertisements it's like get ready for m night Shyamalan's new story a bedtime story and it's like her name is story it's like how late is that the whole thing takes place in the, in the, in the apartment complex pool um but hey comes with special features and uh her blinking eyes right there. Here is a uh, Stephen King movie, A Storm of the Century, special commentary by King. So you know that's going to be fun. Look at this. This is like one of those, you know, made-to-order DVDs. <laughs> oh, that's right. I did was seeing some other cool titles here, like Sheba Baby, you know, with Pam Beer, Coffee, Foxy Brown. And this was, um, you know, another one of her solo movies here. There's also Friday Foster, but he was... Shiva, baby, and that's how you kind of have to say it too. And I've also heard something about um, Billy Madison is actually getting a sequel. Heard, heard, so, or or is it Happy Gilmore? I think it's Happy Gilmore. I could be wrong. I think it's Happy Gilmore, guys. But here it is. Um, over 25 minutes of uh, uh, deleted scenes and outtakes, and in a um, sealed sealed as well and we also got a uh, slip cover for um, friday night lights before the tv shows the movie and then you know the original willy wonka 40 years of everlasting fun yeah and this movie has been on my mind too liar liar i should almost like own this movie this is a good jim carrey movie and jennifer tilly is in this and it's just good you know comes with a uh, insert there you know, too bad it's not G for green. So, maybe I could lie and say that it is G for green. I thought this was an interesting title, too. You never find this anywhere. It's uh, Wild Wild West. The flop. You know, with uh, those people there. But, look at this. An extended snapper case featuring all those special features and what they do. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But definitely uh, a cool find here is uh, Wild Wild West. Now, I was watching the original Ghostbusters on Apple. And here is Ghostbusters 2, which I've never seen. Be ready to believe us. So, I kind of need to like give this pay attention to this movie well, not part two but i need to like pay attention to one more like i never paid attention to it you know what i'm saying it's just like it was kind of one of those funny horror movies but and i haven't seen any of the new ones uh, at all so but for some reason now i want to so here's ghostbusters 2 and um here is not that I'm a fan of The Walking Dead, but the complete first season with bonus features and a slip cover 
here there's a Blu-ray mixed in with all the DVDs and it has a slip. And you guys know how I feel. If there is a digital copy inside, you always redeem it. You always keep your digital copies. And even if it's expired, you hit up the customer service and say, hey, my code is expired. Well, maybe you can't do that for the Goodwill movies, but you could do it for the Dollar Tree movies. Like, as long as you buy it, you know, in the store. Because these are second hand. Alright, mo moving on. Some more interesting titles. Don't know what this is. The Front Line. Last Battle of the Korean War. Looks like a movie or mini series. It says 133 minutes. Anybody ever heard of this? Not sure, but it comes with a uh, slip there. And I think this is a cool find too. They got some nice Disney features here. This Platinum Edition of Bambi. This two disc special edition here. Let's see if I can open it up. Okay, so this is what it looked like. One of those Velcro openers. This is also a good find, like Congo, it's the River Wild. Like at the time, it was big, but no one really talks about these movies now. With Meryl Streep. Oh, what is this? Chapter one, Greek. Oh, it's a TV show. All right, and here's another Nicolas Cage movie, which I always laugh at. It's like the one where he gets robbed on Christmas and then he becomes friends with the robber. And that's where I kind of had to stop it. I'm like, I don't like that. I don't like those types of movies. But um, here's Becoming Jane, you know, Anne Hathaway, new to DVD. Whoa, that means it's exclusive. Jane Austen's most extraordinary romance. And then we did see some like rough around the edges stuff. I see some like Larry the cable guy, get her done. He <laughs> get her done. And then I see the uh, the blue the blue collar comedy tour rides again. So didn't one of these went to like movie theaters? I don't know if this one was it. Was it? Because it's it's a Paramount. Maybe this one was it. Remember they were like popular. I kind of broke that. And also be careful with these like bootlegs. Look at this. I don't know if it's blue. Like it looks real, but it's like a slim case. This looks bootleg though. So just careful, careful friends. Okay, another you know classic here is uh, not Cars too, but oh, I think that's how the song goes. Never even seen it, so maybe maybe not and then was the uh, slip for cars 2. what is beautiful creatures i'm always kind of seeing this all over streaming you know you see it so many times it's just like you, you know you just gotta watch it this was what i wanted to find the mirrors even though i was watching this on max and i was like eh, it's kind of whack but this is the um alexandra aja his uh his next movie after um, what do you call it? Hills Have Eyes and um, uh, Steven Spielberg, War Horse. Kind of one of those. You know, people say like he, he he makes these forgettable movies. I guess this is one of them, but it's not bad. I, I remember it. And of course, one of my favorites. You know, you're 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 going to be mine. You're I'm I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. That's how the line goes. Let's see if there's anything inside. I hate when it's locked. Ooh, it comes with music? Look at that. That's cool though, man. So I'll have to I'll have to um, YouTube, Spotify, all these later. I like um, Echo and the Bunny Man and Aha, uh -huh, yeah, Take On Me. All this stuff, all right. Yeah, this is another one where I didn't know what it was, but I saw the uh, Miramax logo, and so I got interested. Duets. Here's another one. Paul Giamatti, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Huey Lewis in the news. Thumbs up. Richard Roper. That's when, yeah, thumbs up. Not two thumbs up, just thumbs up. It's okay. It comes with a uh, insert there. Duets. I was like, what is this, Assassin of Youth, and then I see Reefer. Is this like a Reefer Madness type of thing? Marijuana, a puff, a pot, a tragedy. I guess this is like Reefer Madness. You know, you don't want to smoke. You might just stab your friend to death. Yikes. 
Ooh, but look at all these, you know, look at this catalog of titles. Interesting. And I did see a, um, there was a National Treasure too, and I saw a National Treasure somewhere. And this one feels kind of stacked. Is there? Well, uh, well, I made a boo-boo there, but it felt stacked. I kind of missed a few here. You know, we got Nip Tug and then the L word. And one of my favorites is Deliverance. Squeal like a piggy, which I already have. So, but you know, uh, you got a, a retrospective here. One of my favorite movies. And then, you know, Coming to America is a good one too. And uh, The Wild Bunch. The original director's cut, sealed, going for $14.99. I thought I heard about this movie, Heartbreak Ridge. Isn't this a Clint Eastwood right? I don't know if I've seen this here before, or maybe it's on um, Max. Then you know you got Gossip Girl. And then what is this? Sword of Honor. Uh, the Wartime. Oh, starring Daniel Craig. Maybe I've seen this here before? Not too sure. I gotta watch this, Hannibal Rising, you know, since I love Silence of the Lambs. Haven't seen this one yet. Heard it's pretty good. And you know, we, we started with Ellen, and we're gonna end with Ellen with Hard Candy. This one I remember watching. This one was a good one, where she, you know, castrates him at the end. <laughs> Spoiler alert. And you know, you even got a commentary there, and a making of, this was a good year for movies. And even got two thumbs up. All right, guys, that about does it for this edition of the Goodwill DVD Blu-ray shopping video window shopping video if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel tap that notification bell drop a comment down below let me know what dvds you found at your goodwill and i will see you next time